So hi there everybody and welcome back to my channel. As promised I'm going to give you a quick tour of my Easter wreath. I do hope that you had a lovely time whatever it is that you were doing. So this has been on my door so it's a little bit weathered now um, but here they are the Japanese quince. This was a pattern by Attic24. She also shows you how to add some leaves at the back so they're only designed to just sort of poke out and add a little bit of green. Now either side you have these lovely daffodils, again a wonderful pattern by Attic24. Excuse the shaking, I'm actually holding the camera rather than putting you on a stand so you may wobble about a bit. And then either side there are these lovely little flowers. Now I have a tutorial for this little flower pattern on my channel. I will link everything below. Then when we move up, I've added a few little daisies either side. There's some more just here. These are from a pattern by Chris Norrington and that's in her new book. Along with these lovely blossom buds. So I've added a few of those as well. A nice easy little pattern but it just adds a little pop of colour where you've got a space. And then lastly on this side here and across here with a couple of leaves we have Attic 24's Polyanthus. So that's easier to make than spell. <laughs> but they just add some lovely spring colour there. So I added all of those to this lovely twig wreath. I added some just natural string on the top. And this has been living on my door, so I'm going to put it back on and then I will just pop a picture at the end of my wreath in situ. So let me know what you think.